Right, women's involvement in the economy and entrepreneurship has now increased to the point of being able to provide competition and enable them to earn a lucrative income. This includes women in rural areas who, if given the opportunity and equipment with skills and mastery of technology, can succeed and be competitive not only locally but also globally. Rural Development Deputy Minister Dato Hasbi Habibullah said one of the 10 thrusts covered by his ministry's Rural Development Policy 2030 was progressive rural women. Memberi pendedahan kepada usahawan wanita supaya berdaya tahan dalam menghadapi cabaran keusahawanan. Apatah lagi kita baru selesai pandemik ni kan, sebagainya banyak orang kata ni, banyak orang kata ni, banyak orang kata ni bahasa limang lingkup lah sekejap. InsyaAllah hanya orang dapat bangun semula dan juga menerapkan keusahawanan dan mempraktikkan amalan penyakaan melalui platform e-dagang. He said this after officiating the Sarawak Zone Rural Women Entrepreneurship Seminar and the Rural Women Workshop, How to Make Your First Million on Thursday. To be a successful entrepreneur, knowledge and skills related to businesses must be constantly improved so that the business can remain relevant and grow. In addition, marketing strategies have also changed over time, with a large variety of quick and easy promotional methods through social media. Hasbi said the ministry had formulated strategies to increase opportunities for women's participation in the economic and entrepreneurial sectors, optimize women's capacity and employment rates, as well as increase women's productive assets ownership, investment rates and savings. The strategy includes training programs, seminars, workshops and courses organized by the Institute of Rural Development, as well as agencies under the ministry that can benefit all women involved.